Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. Uh, my name is Yasir Ali, and today I am here with a new lecture series, which consists of uh, lectures about developing online exam system using PHP, JavaScript, and uh, jQuery, or uh, also Ajax. So let's start uh, having a demo for what actually we are going to develop in this whole lecture series. So we'll be having uh, a sign up and uh, a login page first of all, through which we will be entering into the exam system. So let's try using some credentials let's try registering a new user while providing an email address over here so after providing an email address and pressing the sign up button new user would be registered and it would show us a message below just user has been registered and mind you that this is an ajax based system the page would not be refreshed while uh, you press the sign up button. So after the registration, uh, the automatically generated password uh, would be sent to the email address which is uh, given in this text box. So go to this email address and fetch the newly generated password for uh, logging into the system. So uh, for the time being, I will not be going into the email address, rather I will be just uh, fetching this password from my database, local database. So copy this password. and provide this email address which you have registered with so after pressing the login button you would be entering into the online exam system uh, and on the right side right top you will observe the email address with which you just entered into the exam system and uh, when I will click this drop down button I will be having this these different links uh, which I can move through uh, the different pages inside this exam system. So, uh, if I would click start exam, it would redirect you on the same page, uh, which is an exam page, and uh, here you can uh, have the few instructions for your students, which you can give, and them to take this test. And uh, next link is about changing your profile. You can click here, uh, or you can allow your users to click here to change the user a email, a username, or password. And after updating, after clicking the update button, it would click his profile. And uh, lastly, logout button would definitely uh, bring you back onto the login page which you have seen earlier. So I would just s uh, press on the button start an exam and uh, would follow the instructions given by uh, by the exam in charge. So uh, pressing start button would lead you to uh, to the next page, which would definitely again tell you some of the information about the exam system, that how many questions are there and types of questions and etc. So let's start. Uh, test while clicking on this button uh, currently it is saying uh, we are sorry because this user is disabled please contact the exam in charge so this is another rich feature of this exam that uh, any user who is registered uh, would, won't be allowed to uh, take exam until and unless uh, admin allow him so let's uh, open the admin of this system in order to enable the user so admin is the password and currently I'm just giving the fake email and address so here this is the admin panel of the exam system so uh, if I would uh, click on the manage user link it would show me all the registered users currently there is only one registered and this disable means this cross shows that this user is uh, disabled if I will click on this enable button it would prompt me or ask me a message are you sure you want to enable I would press ok and this user is now enabled and now this user is going to take or is allowed to take this exam from here so let's refresh the page first sorry it's I would definitely be clearing these sort of messages uh, along the way now that we have enabled the user from backend or from the admin we can now go forward to take or to start this test clicking the start test button would lead you to another page which is an exam system and from where we have removed all the links uh, so that user uh, cannot go back or forward or move between the pages during the test so our timer has been started currently I have set it to the one minute so it's draw, uh, it's a countdown timer but you can uh, I'll, I'll tell you you can set the time as per your convenience from the admin side so here are uh, four possible answers of the question the question is coming from the database and this counting of the question total number of questions are 10 
and there is uh, currently we are in question number one so after clicking any of the correct option press next button to get the next question from the exam system so from the last 20 second uh, it would give you the error uh, warning message that uh, you are left with the 20 seconds so uh, I will again quickly perform the questions to get the results so after the time is over means after one or zero second it would automatically jump to the result page and it won't be allowing you to uh, attend more questions or attempt more questions so uh, right now we are on the result page which would be shown after attempting that the test or uh, after the timing is over uh, we will be shown this total number of questions was uh, were 10 and the correct answer that we uh, provided are 2 where our percentage is 20 percent and our attempt is first definitely this was our first attempt there are total three attempts uh, allowed for each user and it would definitely give me a note please note that this was your first attempt you have two more attempts left so uh, from this page you can uh, go to the to check the right answers and if I will click this view answers it would show me all the right answers uh, in the green color along with uh, the tick followed by the correct answer so this is uh, the quick demo of the front end of our exam system so after that I'll uh, just be logging out from the user account and let's have a check uh, a quick check on the admin panel so this is the user that I have a uh, user panel means from uh, where we can uh, manage the users all the users that are registered in the exam system we can remove it we can enable and disable the user and over here we have add question uh, sorry I have uh, actually uh, set the timing to for session timeout you can increase the time and you can decrease the timing and you can um, skip it as per your convenience so let's log in again and this is the add question page uh, which question you currently we are having 10 questions in our database so uh, means number 11 means next question we will be entering would be given the number 11 so after entering a question and uh, four options that a question have and uh, lastly we will enter the correct choice for example if our correct choice is number 1 2 or 3 after entering all the possible fields we will definitely put click and all cost, uh, add questions question would be added our database uh, lastly question list how many questions that we have added all the questions you can see and you can remove the questions as well so this was the quick demo of uh, actually uh, what we are going to develop throughout this lecture series I hope that you would like it